Ah, the lovely Miss Amada. How can I help? Cut the crap, Dalton. I'm sending an operative your way, along with some files, to your computer. I'll be ready. Not for this one, but I trust you'll get it done. His future might be riding on this. Good, you're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia. I'm... A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. Directive Theta allows for a third party to conduct the sweep. This way, the results can be objective. It's certainly a failing. But for now, we're focusing on redemption. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her. But he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. Ularu has the ability to thwart any investigation, so it's imperative she knows nothing about this directive. Her knowledge and talents are why she's the Chief of Operations. So she is the best equipped to evade detection. The risk is necessary, and heavily mitigated. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program, completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. We employ over 100 members of our security team who rotate floors and shifts. It's possible you'll be recognized, but even so, my orders will be strict. Authorized security personnel only. And you certainly won't qualify, making you an immediate suspect. If that's a joke, it isn't funny. We're trusting you to get this job done as discreetly as possible. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up.
I'm glad I don't have to explain its importance. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. I've got my eye on you. <coughs> my career will be over if this deal falls through. Do your favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get here. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole oh, area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes. I wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvage's. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Sure. Sure. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. I have a heart. Can't blame a fellow for trying, right? Because if not, consider this area reserved. Wow, nice to meet you too. Good thing you aren't with marketing. I've written up a program just for the occasion. But as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. It is a really nice amount of credits. Maybe I am getting a little greedy here. Uh, you know, part of me could find some wiggle room. All right, you win. No wonder Ryujin hired you. While you're snooping around in the tower, I just need you to hit up one more workstation on the way. It's Camden Cho's. Just run the same program on the slate I'll give you, and you're good. It's that simple. Suit yourself, so why don't we get back to that payment? And should he? Nothing's for free, you know. Cost is a given. A pleasure, as always. Your job is simple. Just run this little beauty on Ilaro Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Alaru has is bound to take some real work. 
More than my little setup here can handle. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting.
I'm gonna find you eventually. Pack it in. We'll get him next time. Don't be stupid! Stop! Now! Ryujin security. No sudden moves. Nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. Yeah? Keep talking. I hear you. I'm still willing to talk. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Look, I'll trust you. But if any of us catch you on another floor, we'll shoot first and ask questions later.
or something?
Looks like it's all clear. Stand down. Anyone else hear that? Nothing there. What?
make yourself at home. Just don't take any souvenirs while you're here. So, you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. <laughs> Just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. The program I gave you to run on Ulara's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption... This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. Since you came through on your end, let's just say that slate isn't going to paint the best picture for Ms. Imogene Sauzo. But bear in mind, you're dealing with some pretty talented people when it comes to falsifying information. I can be sure, because I know my business. But, like anything, evidence alone can't tell the full story. The rest is up to you and Dalton to piece together. And don't be too sure about that. Imogene was practically raised in the corporate underworld. I'd almost guarantee there's intent behind everything she does. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. Don't wander into any restricted area. Is it done? Well, I assume success is in order. I had a few reports, but at least nothing that set off any red flags. I expected as much. Now, let's see what we have here. I didn't think it was possible. Some 
someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nyx was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. Well, she has the means and access, but things are rarely so cut and dry. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. If she runs, the guilt will be apparent. And you'll have no choice but to dispose of her. As much as I'd like you to subdue her and bring her in, Imogene would never allow it. She knows what fate lies ahead for those who betray this corporation and get caught. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Don't cause any trouble. They know how to make a client feel welcome up here. Try not to harass my text too much. They have work to do. Let me guess. Looking for Imogene? I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours. But I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Good. I'd hate to see what sort of drama might get stirred up if you went around him. Or maybe I'd love it. Keep the workplace interesting, right? <laughs> Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. I warned people that Puma was unstable. <laughs> I heard about your run-in with Tomo. Ryujin CEO is... I've got my eye on you. No Imogene, I see. Could she really be on to us already? Of course, Yuko would know. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky... He may even help us get to Imogene. Bayou owns the Sioka Syndicate. 
For you to walk in there without discussing it with him first could be seen as a violation of our business relationship. Good, because without it, this adds a complexity that we do not have time for. Head over to the Trade Tower and be discreet. Let Bayou know that you're there on Ryujin's behalf. He may ask for credits or even a favor. Just give him what he wants. You're right. If he asks for anything, tell him I'll guarantee to support his fundraising proposal. You'll know what that means. Just be sure to bring her back here in one piece. If she's truly the Mole, she'll have a lot to answer to. If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it as an admission of guilt. I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of her. The risk of Imogen continuing to operate as a traitor is too high. If we don't dispose of her now, she could cause a great deal of harm to this company. She knows the consequences of betraying Ryujin, which makes her dangerous. If the situation does take a turn for the worst, I only ask that you perform a thorough search for any evidence she may have in her possession. I trust you won't let your past relationship cloud your judgment. My company's future might be riding on this deal. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? It's been a very beneficial partnership. As long as we continue to look out for our mutual interests, I can't complain. No. You can always make time when it comes to an old friend. So, what would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves, I'll tell you what, 
I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free. Provided you do a little something for me. Will he now? Well, this is a welcome surprise, and one I intend to take full advantage of. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. It's a bad place for tourists these days. All the area's gone to hell. What'll it be? You lost, kiddo. Okay, sounds good. Are you kidding me? You lost, kiddo. So you're the one getting special treatment. Don't look like much to me. I've got one rule for you in there. So it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. Don't worry. She wouldn't be allowed up there either. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better.
You try anything, you're dead. I'm watching you. No funny business. Back off! No funny business. You try anything, you're dead. I'm watching you. Pack, I'm watching you. Try anything, you're dead. No funny business. And Joss, where do you think you're going? This floor is off limits to outsiders. We may have history, but that doesn't make you syndicate. Now get out of my face. Next time I see you up here, you're dead.
you're still there. That mistake's gonna cost you. You're a dead man! There, Op. I need you to back down and give me a chance to explain. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. Yes, and no, but mostly no. Just hear me out, okay? I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. I'm not the one with motive here. First, I'm not about to reboot my life. Second, I'm not spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for the next field op they'd send after me. Of course. But first you have to understand, she used me to play an unwitting part in this, so I'm the one that takes the fall. That's why I said it'd be impossible for me to intentionally pull this off. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. 
an internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? Because she knows I'm the most believable target, I'm the only one at Ryujin with the skills to even come close to being able to pull off a job like this. Power, of course. Corporations maintain their success by any means necessary, but there are some measures Masako is reluctant to take. You may have noticed that none of your assignments directly involve murder. Masako reserves those actions only when it's absolutely necessary. Ularu sees this as a sign of weakness that needs to be dealt with. You want evidence? I've got it. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind the desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. I can't do that. The moment I step in that building, Dalton will lock me up and Ularu will be on high alert. Of course you do. Look, if you just bring this slate to Dalton, I'm sure he'll understand. But if I go with you, everything is ruined. It's your choice. Do you want the truth? Or do you just want to be employee of the month? I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And, I know you don't hear it much around the office, but... thanks.
I quit the syndicate. Primate for me. Stupid wolf coming here! This means you finished your business. Need something? It's a bad place for tourists these days. All areas come to hell.
Well, look who's back. So tell me, what did you find out? <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. Is there something I can help you with? <sighs> Whoa. At least let me close the door before you start getting into something you can't handle. Just a moment. Shutting the door and engaging locks. There. Now that I can guarantee we'll have no eavesdroppers, that's a serious accusation. I'd even call it a fireable offense. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Is this a game? I wasn't aware. It is a horrible thing when such well-made plans can't be shared. Perhaps. I prefer to work in guarantees. Dalton. <laughs> you obviously don't know him at all. Looks like someone's been brushing up on their corporate skills. Fine. Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. But I'm no mole. With the amount of secrecy and security surrounding that project, I'm happy to report that's true. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist. And no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. Back then, hard decisions were all about screwing people over and white-collar crime. Today, they're more about ensuring success, by any means necessary. So, now that you know, it's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's? Well, it seems we're at an impasse now. Go ahead. I guarantee any evidence you have is circumstantial at best. I've created the perfect scapegoat in Imogene. 
It'd be your word against mine, and I'm pretty sure the odds are in my favor. We'll see about that. Certainly spared no expense on their execution. You're back. And Imogene? I suppose you suddenly have all the facts now. This explanation better be good. I have a mind to fire you just for that comment. Well, this evidence complicates the situation, if it points to Ularu. It's gonna take me some time to pass, because if it's legitimate, we need absolute certainty before making the accusation. You realize, if Imogene has misled you, She'll be long gone by now. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Just take the elevator down to research and development. You'll find Dr. Kara's office to your left as you enter the floor. Vina's the head of our research and development team. She's the creator of Project Dominion, and often considered the protege of Ray de Karis, Ryujin's founder. Masako's been focusing on how to deal with Infinity LTD and their knowledge of Project Dominion. I believe her plans rely heavily on you. Hmm. Not that I enjoy it, but I wouldn't trust anyone but myself with these reports as it is. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours.